Okay, the purpose of this video is to show you how to uh, create alignment in uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D. So I'm gonna go back to my Home tab here, and I'm going to click on the Alignment option up under the Design, and there's an Alignment Creation tool, so I'm gonna click on that. This allows me to select the name of my alignment. For right now, it's just gonna be called Alignment 1. It's a center line alignment, and it allows me to start uh, enter my starting station if I'd like. I'm just gonna leave it at zero plus zero zero. And I'm gonna click OK. So now I use this tool over all the way to the left over here. It's called Draw Tangent Tangent Without Curve. And then what that allows me to do is just click and insert a PI or a point of intersection. So make sure you have three segments within your alignment for the assignment. And once I create those three segments, I'm gonna hit enter. And you can see it creates an alignment and it uh, labels the beginning point, the PI, or point of intersection, another point of intersection, and then the ending point. So now what I'm gonna do is add some curves to this. It's pretty simple over here, this, uh, this curve tool right here. Um, I'm gonna drop it down and I'm gonna use uh, the free curve fillet between two entities with a given radius. So I'm gonna click on that button and then uh, I'm gonna select my first entity or my first tangent, and then I'm gonna select my second tangent. And then it asks me whether the uh, curve solution angle is greater than or less than 180. I'm gonna say it's less than 180. So then it asks me to specify a radius. Um, I can also give it other information, but I am gonna choose to use the radius for right now. Um, for, for this particular uh, setup, I think I'm probably gonna use a 50 foot curve on this first one. So you can see it inserts a 50 foot curve. So then I'm still in that command, so I can pan over and try this one over here. And again, it's less than 180, and it wants me to choose a specific radius. This time I think I'm gonna use 30 because it's such a small angle point. So it fits a 30 foot curve in there. Once I'm done, I can just hit enter, and you can see it, it moves the alignment stationing along the horizontal curve in both places and it gives me the PC, the midpoint, and also the PT of that each individual curve. So that's creating an alignment in AutoCAD Civil 3D. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you, you need to click and lay out the alignment. If you ever need to change things, you can always select the tangent points um, and you can uh, modify um, the PIs if you need to. You can also modify the radius of the curve if you need to, all by using the grips. And you can also specifically modify individual segments as well. The way you go about uh, modifying individual sub entities or curves within uh, the alignment is you use this, this tool right here that says uh, pick sub entity, and then you click on that curve. This is if you want to uh, Sorry, let's try that again. I don't know why it's not. There we go. So when you pick the sub entity here, if you wanted to change this radius, instead of just dragging it and uh, guessing what the radius was, if you wanted to change it to a specific radius, so instead of 50, I wanted to make it 60. I just modify it there and it'll modify it for me. And then once I'm done, I close this and um, hit enter and it'll modify the, the sub entity for me or the curve. So that's, a, that's a, the way you can uh, modify that specific sub entity if you need to. So that's uh, creating alignments in uh, Civil 3D.